Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, or welcome to GameStar TV. And after pushing all of the right buttons, we are live with phase <laughs> two, week three of the Gears Esports APAC Regional Series. Uh, broadcast to you live from the GameStar studios in Christchurch. And uh, Winters, uh, you're joining me today. Where are you joining me from? Thanks for that, Crisis. I am joining you from the lovely sunny gold coast today there you go so the game star studios in christchurch and the gold coast today live broadcasting the gears ears to you on watch mixer that's mixer.com forward slash game star so if you're watching the vods make sure you head on over to mixer.com forward slash game star and hit the follower button and get us uh, into your follower list there a fantastic video broadcasting platform Brought to you by Microsoft and, of course, the major sponsors of the Gears Esports APAC Regional Series, putting up $11,000 US dollars worth of prizes across the 16 events. We are into event number seven. That is phase two, week three, another qualification week. And uh, this is the final qualification week in phase two. The next event will be the finals in March, the first weekend of March, in fact. And uh, Winters, it's going to be a cracker of a finals. 2,800 US dollars will be won by the four teams that make it through to that event. And Gerard Crisis, I'm uh, thoroughly looking forward to today, as I believe we have a couple of uh, time contention spots coming up in some of these rounds that we'll be watching. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it's going to be it's going to be quite a critical event today for specifically Unknown and Militia Gaming. So we've got the leaderboard up on stream right now and you can see untouched at the top of the table Mind Freak uh, on the full 84 points across two weeks of qualifiers they could not show up today and still qualify that's the simple fact of it but of course they're playing today because we've got our participation credit program working as well 100 points per uh, per win 75 points Per loss, you just have to show up and play, and you earn at least 75 points for every round that you play in. And those, of course, add up together towards earning some fantastic swag, uh, depending on what your uh, what your poison is. Uh, you could you could be taking home digital swag, or you could be taking home actual physical swag like Gears of War esports hoodies. Uh, there's, there's bags, there's all sorts of crazy stuff that you can earn uh, just by playing. But of course today it's all about Militia Gaming making a bid to get into that top four. I think they, they are the ones that, are, uh, that have the, the capability of getting into the top four out of the teams that are outside of the top four. Um, so we're going to be starting off today with Militia Gaming going up against Slices. Now Militia Gaming uh, sitting at... Uh, sixth on the table, I think they might actually be fifth or fourth if they had played last week. They missed last week. Slices on number two. They have only been beaten by Mind Freak. So they are looking very, very strong, and this is going to be a cracker of a match. I agree, Crisis. I think uh, Slices, after last week's efforts, uh, taking a, a round or two off Mind Freak are looking quite on point, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Militia can bring. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be a great match. So I'm just going to ha send a quick message to... Uh... Now, I can't find Caramel on, um, on the old Discords. So we'll just see if we can uh, give them the go-ahead. Oh, looks like they're uh, actually starting. And here we go. There's the call to start. So we're going to be counting down and let's get ourselves uh, into that game straight away. And we are going to be playing Escalation on Dam today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so round one is on uh, Dam. So just uh, everyone, I haven't really introduced Winters uh, to you. Uh, Winters came to us uh, through the Heroes of the Storm uh, broadcasting that we've done, and uh, he heard that we were looking for Gears casters, and so he's gone, 
Sure, I can play Gears. I used to play uh, Gears. You were playing Gears of War back in the days of uh, 1 and 2, weren't you, Winters? Yeah, that's right. When I was uh, working with EB Games, I uh, had a couple of uh, cheeky rounds against Cliffy B, actually, and took one or two off him. So I'm quite familiar with Gears. I do enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to casting it with you. Yeah, so it's going to be a fantastic time. Finally, we don't have... Uh, just me on my own. I'm going to follow Kurt Angie's at the moment. And in fact, Winters, if you could just take it away, I've got to get uh, the team swapped around on the scoreboard uh, because uh, they're on the other side according to how they've loaded out. Not a problem at all. So we are kicked off, ladies and gents. Um, just going to bring up Kurt so I can follow him. Now, um, looking at the uh, the overview map team, we, we do have our uh, our blue team securing points A and B, with our red team looking to reinforce their point C. Yeah, we're so, going to see a little bit of cheeky action in the middle. Yeah, so the way uh, the way the teams load out, uh, just uh, as a matter of interest, is we allow the highest seeded team to choose what side they want to go on, uh, and almost invariably, everybody wants to be on COG. So. Uh, that's blue, and uh, so Slices have chosen to be on blue with Militia Gaming on red for the spawn. And uh, right now it is a cog, uh, it's not quite a cog domination, got to be careful about using that word because domination is when they've actually won the round. But they are well in the lead right now, Winters, and looking to get a triple cap to start off today's proceedings. That's right, so for those of you unfamiliar with the escalation mode, it and hold all three points you claim domination for the round and you win that round it's instantaneous you don't need to get the requisite points and if uh, someone does jump inside that ring and breaks that circle and stops you capping all three points then uh, that allows you to continue trying to win this round so we've had a couple of scary moments there for the swarm as uh, the cog looked to get that triple cap but they've successfully held on that's Militia Gaming hanging on for dear life at this stage. Two versus one at the B site right now. It is Mingus trying to get his sort of foothold uh, back onto that B, but Militia Gaming has successfully recaptured it, and now they are trying to claw away at that lead that the Cog have built up. So we see B and C points now taken over by the Swarm. We are going to have a little bit of a firefight coming on towards that B point. Uh, it looks like everyone's got their lances out for a bit of long-range engagement. No doubt swapping over those shotguns very soon. Alright, here we are on the B point. Uh, we're still following Saya at the moment. Uh, as they cap that B, they've got it there. The warning sounds have gone because time is running out. We're at the 200 tick mark. And that means it is pretty much all over Rover as Asaya picks, him off, uh, picks himself up a nice little kill there with his chainsaw. And the first round goes to the Slicers. And Winters, that's kind of as we expect with the Slicers at the second seed. Militia Gaming uh, currently sitting on the table on sixth position. Mm, that's right. So Slicers do have a, a very good line. Uh, their team members have been playing together for quite some time. We see uh, four kills going towards Caramel there and uh, some further kills going to the gents on our militia team. Some of them didn't pick up a couple of kills on that round. That's all right. We'll see how round two goes. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Sulu and Pyrex, I guess, uh, are who we're looking at to break the drought. So we'll see if we can actually follow... Uh, let's uh, follow Jeff Hulu and see what uh, he's going to be able to do. Let's get him onto the board and get a kill or even a down just uh, before this opening. He's got his Lancer out now, get some uh, fire down, but oh, he gets a surprise from behind as Mingus with the Nasher pops his backside off. And uh, that is the end of Tufulu uh, for now. It's round number two, so spawns are at 12 seconds, I think, uh, Winters, uh, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, on the Escalation game mode, the spawn timers do increase round on round. And you'll notice each round, some of the players have the ability to place a weapon on the battlefield somewhere as we get further in. And we have a COG domination in 44 seconds, folks. That was a, a very quick triple cap. Well played by the COG. Yeah, nicely done. Now, uh, let's just see uh, what the weapon's going to be. So, 
What did we have placed in the first round? Uh, and who did the placing? I did miss that, however, we have Denzel, and it looks like he is placing the... Oh, it looked like a long shot for a moment. What are we going to have? Maybe tossing up for some incendiary or frag grenades here. And we've got a shock grenade placed up towards the top of the walkways there. So we'll we'll see who goes for those. Let's have a look at this top-down view. All right, off we go. So we're going to follow Jeff Sulu again, just to see if he can get himself up on the board. Uh, not much of a chance in that first round, or in that second round. Uh, and if, uh, well, there you go. He's taking the same spot, really, getting some Lancer fire down at this time. But he's got Frosty with him, so they're looking to roll on in. It's Caramel uh, there. The shock grenades go down. Mingus is there again, and he gets the drop on him. In fact, he gets a quick double, and uh, he'll be very, very pleased with that. That secures them uh, that hill now. Is it full red, though, as he gets himself away? Oh, Elbow is going to try and stop his run through. It's uh, close range, and the, the nice melee shot comes through from Elbow of Militia Gaming to finish off Mingus. But uh, you know what? Uh, you take down two players for your own death. That's not such a bad result, Mingus. Oh, it's always good in a, a 1v2 situation. Yeah, he, uh, he did try against Elbow there, however, did come almost dead after escaping that excellent uh, 2v1 battle. So, so two... it looks like we've got... Sorry, Craig. No, no, go for it, mate. No, I was going to say, we've got uh, a bit of a battle over B, and, uh, and yep, yeah, Cog then take out the uh, insurgents trying to steal their B position. We've got a very substantial firefight going on here with some crossfire and shotguns. Uh, following Caramel at the moment, having a look at uh, his ducking and weaving and expert use of the, uh, the, the running and dodging system here. Yeah, Caramel doing great work there. Uh, does a little low roll, does another low roll uh, as he heads on away, but it is all over over just about for the swarm as uh, another triple cap comes in. Uh, Militia Gaming will be pleased they managed to hold on for a minute longer in that second round, despite the spawn timers being even longer and their deaths being plentiful as we head for round number four and the long shot. Uh, has wow, gone in down. instantly placed that long shot there, Chris. That's, uh, they're, they're confident. It looks like they're going to be going straight for that and trying to uh, a little bit of cheeky long range fragging. Well, I love I love when they put something like a long shot down or the boom shot because it just uh, it just opens up possibilities uh, in the game. We're going to follow uh, Zurich. He's headed it over and picked that long shot up. So we'll see uh, if he's able to get any uh, crucial shots there. Oh, takes a shot. Misses Pyrex. Whips out his pistol. Decides to uh, harass Pyrex more than anything else. Keeps his uh, pistol out. And uh, is enough distraction for Mingus to come through and actually clear out uh, those two boys. There you go! Oh, pops the cap oh, oh, off of Jethulu. And let's uh, just have a very quick look there. Poor old Jethulu still on... Oh no, he's gotten himself two kills. There you go. So he's, uh, he's not, uh, not looking at a donut anymore uh, at this stage. We're still with Virix and the long shot just to see if he can uh, really cement the boys from the Slicers hold on this map in round number four. Takes a shot, doesn't quite land it. We'll stick with him. He's got Goes a couple in. of targets oh. over there on that little side pop near the A section there, teams. Pick. He's, he's got the highest kill count on uh, on this team so far, so let's see if we can keep increasing that. Yeah, creates a bit of zoning there with the shot grenade. Goes down. He's pretty, pretty much got a menu of items to choose from in his arsenal. Yeah, comes uh, the challengers. Uh, he's got his dash around. Oh. It's a 2v2 situation. In the end, the last man standing oh, is Virix, and he's going to head on over and see if he can execute the triple cap once again. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that he's going to be able to do it. It's Elbow coming in. He's got his long shot out. He's looking to take off ahead. Runs out of time, and it is 4-0 right now in favor of the Slicers. That uh, that cheeky little low roll right at the end there. Yeah, man. So those 
They're confident at this stage. 4-0 uh, in the lead and not looking like they're breaking a sweat. Well, let's see whether or not Elbow's placement of this boom shot can adjust anything in this round, team. Quite a uh, quite an impactful weapon we see with the boom shot, launching grenades and instantly being able to give your desired target if you so choose. So we'll see who heads on up to that pumping station. Mingus right now, he's been doing quite well so far. Heads on around there, he's got a little bit of support on his flank there, throws down the smoke grenade. It's a bit poorly piece of play, and I think he actually picked up the gun before he was taken down. He hasn't been completely fragged though, so he's okay. Pulls out the boom shot, gets himself a double, and uh, he will be very, very pleased that he managed to survive there because that was a missed throw, Winters with that. Uh, with that smoke grenade. Absolutely, and the uh, the added benefit of that smoke grenade is if you can catch somebody in it, they'll stagger for a little bit. It gives them a little bit of reduced visibility, enough to walk directly into a boom shot grenade. <laughs> well, the uh, boom shot got used there, only picked up a single there. Poor old Pyrex was on the receiving end there. You can see from the X ray that he had just held onto that boom shot and used the second shot. Uh, a few minutes later, he would have gotten himself a five or a four kill. So it uh, doesn't matter. Another Kong do domination from another triple cap. And we are romping towards the sixth round uh, in favor of the slices. Wow. And, and looking at Mingus's kill count right now, up on 17, with, uh, with most of the rest of the slicer team sitting around that 13 to 10 mark, uh, they are very dominant at the moment. I'd love to see Militia pick themselves up a round or two here and just uh, and just show the guys that they're here and uh, that they are going to to pose a bit of a challenge. Well, we do find that when the spawn timers uh, get long and uh, all the weapons are getting placed down uh, by you know by this time in the match, there are opportunities for the the team that is trailing to start to launch a comeback just because they can get a couple of really good kills uh, you know, early on and uh, just try and turn that into uh, a victory. I'm just uh, watching V Mingus once again. He's got in himself a boom shot and let's see if he holds on for a little bit longer this time uh, and makes good use of it to get himself a multi-kill. But yeah, so often by this stage, Winters, uh, things seem to fall in place for the trading team and they get themselves back into the game. Oh, long range. Um, boom shot. Wow. Doesn't actually land anything. But Winters, doesn't matter. That's the scary part of the boom shot. You can be across the other side of the... Boom. Eat face full of grenade. Uh, it, it really is, just uh, fo following back to that previous point there, Chris, is uh, we we see the momentum shift in uh, in some of these matches sometimes, around this fourth or fifth round run, where uh, we, you'll have that trailing team, they'll, they'll really band together, and, and then that momentum can shift for them, and they can actually take that uh, that game completely back out. So let's see whether or not Militia can, uh, can back this up for us today. I'd love to see that donut closed out. So we're following Pyrex at the moment. He's got in himself a boom shot. He manages to get a body shot with it. Then switches over to the to the Nasha. They're pushing through. He's been taken down though. Fortunately, not with the long shot in hand. So uh, the weapon's not going to be able to get picked up. Cthulhu was making a desperate run for that B Hill. Uh, gets taken down though by Caramel. And now, once again, we're staring at a triple cap opportunity for the boys on the slicers. Here they go to whip out uh, the uh, old Melly shenanigans. Uh, Melee team the killing. Nothing like a bit of uh, butt stock to the face from one of your own teammates. Yeah, and there you go. <laughs> Six and oh. So that's the first half done and Dusted will head on into the second half. It's uh, a donut on the board for Militia Gaming. But everything gets reset now and they get a chance to get themselves back in. Of course, Winters, they are facing match point. It is indeed match point. And again, Militia need to band together. We need to see some good, strong pack hunting. Um, with the, the weapons being removed from the map now and respawns back down to 10 seconds, hopefully we're going to see something come out of that. Running through with Denzel at the moment. Heads on up to E. There's a bunch of uh, Militia Gaming boys over here. They take him down, Caramel, clear him away. Make sure that he's not going to be able to get up. Uh, reset his spawn. Kurt Angle comes in. He's down. And uh, this has been good play so far from Militia Gaming, but they didn't pick 
that Sayo was coming around from behind and executing a bit of backdoor action there, securing that E site for the slices. And the unexpected is... shotgun in the uh, small of the back is always going to be presenting a problem for your ability to yeah. do anything functionally. Then. Send you off to the physio in between rounds and not really much that can be done there. Smoke is down. We're still with Sayo. He's at full red. He's taken down one for his bubbles, though. Elbows uh, being uh, eliminated for now. Yeah, he doesn't get his second. Pyrex gets revenge for his captain, uh, but gets nice. taken down in turn. It's pretty much one for one uh, over and over. Zurich's now using uh, him as his uh, body blocker. Uh, Poor Pyrex body shield right there. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, uh, not insanely resistant, though. Oh, this is a mad gunfight that's going down right now. Virix finally taken about down by Elbow, who's respawned, gotten himself back in there, uh, and uh, died to Mingus, who I think is uh, currently on the highest number of kills for his team. In fact, he is on 24. Mingus is absolutely shooting off today. He has been on point with his Nasher kills, headshots, and, and just the ability to surprise and shock his, uh, his opponents on Militia. I believe uh, Pyrex is going to be quite sore tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think that uh, anybody remembered to pack any sort of lube. It is 6 and 0 oh right now, ladies and gentlemen. The final round possibly coming through because uh, it is well, uh, the lead is well in the hands of the COG right now. They almost got themselves the triple cap, but it is pretty much time up. That's about 191. It has to be a triple cap now for the Swarm to be able to stay in this game. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it. There we go. We tick through. It's pretty much waiting for the timer to complete, to seal the fate of Militia Gaming in the opening round of today's uh, proceedings. And that is that, a 7-0 victory for the boys on the slices. And uh, they will now go to a break uh, while they wait for their second round opponents to complete their matches. Uh, and uh, so that, that just reminds me, ladies and gentlemen, so if you're wondering how things are going to be working today, we had six teams enter. And uh, because we had six teams and only six teams instead of eight, uh, we are playing a single round robin bracket today instead of the, uh, the planned uh, Swiss bracket. So we don't have enough teams to execute a Swiss bracket, so we'll be playing five rounds of a single round robin, three matches per round. One match per round will be on stream. And so while we wait for the other two matches to complete so that we can look at our second round and choose who we're going to be bringing on stream, we are going to go to a short break. It'll be about five minutes, so go and grab yourselves a drink, uh, maybe a face cloth just to dab off the sweat after that game. It was uh, a magnificent performance there. So I am sure that you enjoyed it, and you will enjoy the next one. So don't go away. We will be right back after this break.